On today's show, the Chevy Bolt is going to kill sales of other electric cars, Ford sees a fortune to be made in mobility services, and Hella can tell who ran a shopping cart into your car. All that and more coming right up on Auto Line Daily. This is Autoline Daily for January 18th of 2016. Every time you turn around, another car company is talking about getting into car sharing and ride sharing, what they call mobility services. Last week, GM announced it's investing half a billion dollars in Lyft, the ride sharing company whose cars have giant pink mustaches on the front end. So how come automakers are suddenly so interested in mobility services? At the Detroit Auto Show, Ford CEO Mark Fields pointed out that automakers generate $2.3 trillion in sales every year, a staggeringly big number. But, he said, the market for mobility, including mass transit and taxis and ride sharing, generates $5.4 trillion in sales. That's more than twice as big as the automotive industry, and yet, most automakers don't get a penny of that business. And that's why they're so interested in getting into mobility services. The Chevrolet Bolt is getting rave reviews, and that is bad news for everyone else who makes EVs. Consider this. The Bolt Seats 5 will cost somewhere around $30,000 with a federal rebate, and it will travel 200 miles on a single charge. Those simple statistics spell doom for every other electric car on the market. With the exception of the Tesla Model S and X, every other EV has similar specs. The Nissan Leaf, the BMW i3, the Mercedes B-Class, Ford Focus, and Kia Soul EV are about the same size as the Bolt, but they only go about 80 miles on a charge. So which EV would you buy? The one that goes 80 miles or the one that costs the same but can go 200 miles? That's an easy answer. And that's why when the Chevy Bolt goes on sale, it's going to kill the sales of pretty much every other electric car in the market. Lincoln showed off the production version of the Continental last week and we'll show you how it differs from the concept version. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion, and by Dow Automotive Systems, breakthrough technologies for lightweight vehicles. Honda and General Motors may expand their partnership on fuel cells. Japan's Asahi Shimbun newspaper is reporting that the two companies are considering to jointly build a fuel cell factory and are aiming to mass produce hydrogen powered vehicles by 2025. The move makes sense. Not only would it help both save costs, but Honda's already using GM's fuel cell stack for its hydrogen powered car, the Clarity. Lincoln gave us our first look at its Continental with a concept at last year's New York Auto Show, which was said to be a hint at the production car. But now that Lincoln has shown the production car last week at the Detroit Show, I'd say it gave us more than a hint. The two cars are very similar, but you will notice some changes to the lower front fascia and headlights with perhaps the biggest change to the rear of the car, which does not seem to be swept back as much as in the concept car. We wonder if they did that for manufacturing reasons or if it's a reaction to the criticism that it looked too much like a Bentley. Yeah. So what do you think? Should Lincoln have kept the concept look or is the production version the one that's better? Coming up next, next time someone runs a shopping cart into your car, your car can tell you who did it. While the focus last week at the Detroit Auto Show was mostly on the new cars, Suppliers were also demonstrating some of their latest technology. We came across this development from Hella, a German company best known for its lighting. But this has nothing to do with lighting. It's all about connectivity. Let's say you take your car to the supermarket to do some shopping. You park it and head into the store, but then another shopper runs a shopping cart into your car. That triggers a motion sensor in the fender that instantly turns on a camera to capture who ran into your car and it sends out an alert to your phone that your car was damaged, the time that it happened, the severity of the damage, and it shows you a picture of who did it. 
All you have to do is tap an app on your phone to notify your insurance company and then go on your merry way. This is much more sophisticated technology than you realize. Hella says the system can tell if the impact is from anything from a snowball to a soccer ball so that you don't get bombarded with false alarms. And it says this technology should be ready for production in just a couple of years. And with that, we wrap up today's report. Thanks for watching and please join us again tomorrow.